Welcome to Next Tech. Everybody knows how airplanes fly, right? They use fuel, a lot of fuel, to run and take us anywhere we want around the globe. But can you imagine a plane flying without fuel? No, this is not the story of some thriller fantasy movie. This is something Elon Musk is thinking of making into a reality someday. The man is on a mission to build electric planes, or supersonic jets as he calls them. In today's video, we are talking about how Tesla might be cooking up a secret plan to disrupt the airlines in the world. Make sure you watch this video to the end to know how much longer the world will have to wait to expect an absolute revolution of the aerospace industry. As we said before that Musk is a fantastically creative guy and is expected of this genius, his next possible project or mission is to bring disruption to the way we have all known flights and planes for centuries. I have an idea for a vertical takeoff and a landing supersonic jet. This is what Elon Musk says every time he is asked to discuss the subject of an electric plane coming up in the near future. Following the lead Musk has given, the Tesla crowd has quickly jumped on this idea of an electric plane a few times now, hashing out, discussing, and deeply analyzing the particular advantages and disadvantages that would be involved in making this battery-powered electric flight possible. But one thing we can say for sure that along with reductions in carbon emissions, electric planes, if made possible, will possibly be fairly cost-effective as compared to the current fueled ones. Even with the present state of battery technology, and this is obviously a good thing both for the passengers as well as the environment since air travel alone is estimated to contribute 12% of total transportation-based carbon being pumped into the atmosphere globally. Thus, swapping kerosene-fueled planes with the ones that work with a battery can considerably bring the emissions down, with an estimated reduction of about 60 to 80% in operating costs, 80% lower emissions and noise, and a whopping 40% reduction in runway needs. If we are to believe that the numbers crunched by one of the major startups in the present electric aviation industry named Zunamero, we can also expect that the batteries might be able to power flights successfully since about 75% of all flights are domestic, out of which around half are under 700 miles and 20% are under 350 miles. These mile stats would work out very well for current electric aircraft hopefuls as their planes have proposed travel distances of around 350 to 700 miles. If you do some research on the electric aviation industry, you will find that a number of companies have now thrown their hats in the ring and come up to try to make this dream a possibility, including Zunum Aero, Airbus, Siemens, Eviation, and BYE Aerospace. One has even cited Tesla as their major inspiration for its business model. This is the Los Angeles-based company Wright Electric, who announced their plans early last year to bring to market a nine-seater electrified aircraft with a range of at least 340 miles, covering a distance of nearly 44% of all flights. CEO Jeff Engler spoke with Tesla Rati about Wright's development plans last July, saying, and we quote, our plan is similar to the Tesla approach, in the sense that they started with the Roadster and then scaled up to larger, more mass market vehicles. Our first plane to market will be a premium aircraft meant to travel short distances with a small number of passengers, perfect for inner city flights and recreational activities like skydiving. This initial program is the springboard for development of larger, long-range aircraft. But with this influx of new players wanting to already come on board and give a try to the idea of electric flights, another question comes to mind. Will Elon Musk still be interested in developing an electric vertical takeoff and landing supersonic jet when there are so many others planning to do the same too? He has led on so much technology for the idea already, so it is safe to say that he has himself given the green light to the others that they too can be the ones to bring changes if they try. But as of current reports, Elon is certainly still at least thinking about this mission that he started. Last week, he even had a discussion about the concept on Twitter, his playground for most of his ideas, commenting that while yes, electric planes are possible, the range is still too limited. Battery density is the biggest hangup and they will definitely need about 400 WH kg energy density, or better, to make this electric journey viable, implementable to the real world. For the uninitiated, Tesla's current battery density is about 250 WH kg, or at max 300 WH kg on a high cycle. But their recent acquisition of Maxwell Technologies could indicate that some serious progress in that direction might be just around the corner. The new Tesla edition is known to use dry electrodes to reach higher levels of energy density and has identified a definite path to reaching 500 WH kg. Or in other words, Maxwell and Tesla together could make electric planes a commercially viable idea. 
An even bigger signal that the electric jet is for sure on Musk's mind came when during the Q&A session at an event, Tesla revealed themselves that they plan to produce their own batteries, which could possibly deliver a whopping 54% jump in the battery range for electric cars, and another 56% drop in price per kilowatt hour of energy. Although Musk did not explicitly outline the exact density in their talk, he later suggested that Tesla could reach that figure at some point in the coming years. A month before this happened, Elon Musk had even posted on Twitter that such a battery with higher density and power could enter the stage of mass volume production in probably three to four years. Talking about Musk's famous and quite recent sit-down with Joe Rogan during September last year, we found that he seemed to have kind of dismissed the idea, at least for the near future. I have a lot of my plate, he explained on the podcast. The electric airplane isn't necessary right now. Electric cars are important. Solar energy is important. Stationary storage of energy is important. These things are much more important than creating an electric supersonic VTOL. Musk noted that cars and clean energy were at the moment bigger priorities than electric aviation because of the reason that though airplanes contribute big to the global carbon dioxide emissions, still about 72% of its transport emissions do come from roads and so that is what needs to be addressed first. The indication is not that this is definitely not happening, but more like that it will happen, but we might have to wait a little bit longer than expected. Maybe some kind of emergency will push him over the first line of thinking about doing it someday and send him to the other side. Well, this will be at the top of his priority list. Imagine Musk one day gets stuck at an airport just because his plane couldn't take off. The reason? The fuel tanker delivery is late. He is waiting urgently to attend an important meeting, but can't really do anything about it. In that moment, it might just happen that he gets determined enough and we get to witness the epicness of electric planes sooner than later. Ah, what a great day that will be. Even when that day comes, we might still be asking the same questions. What exactly is Musk's idea here? Why? Because instead of electric jets, he keeps wanting to build supersonic planes. This is one aspect that no one seems to be talking about. The fact is that supersonic passenger jets have not been around since Concord waved them goodbye in early 2003. And if you remember, sonic boom complaints are an inescapable matter of physics, is this type of technology. What do you think Musk actually has in mind? If it is finally supersonic jets, then how feasible would you think those will be? Or do you think he would eventually move over to electric planes, just like all the others seem to be thinking of? When it comes to Musk, all we can do is wait. But when do you think this massive airplane transformation will come through? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Also, press the bell icon to get notified every time we drop a new video. Until then, make sure to check out all of our other videos on our channel. See ya!